Hi, welcome back. I'm Nate Moore. This is Lesson 31 on adding data to a table in Excel 2007. Last time we set up a table, and I want to do a couple of things just to make it easy to see what we're doing. What I'm going to do is I'm going to select this whole column and decide, you know, I, I want the whole thing centered. So you've got the whole column centered. And then the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set up some conditional formatting in this one. We're going to spend a lot more time on conditional formatting later, but for the time being I want to highlight cells that are greater than 70. And so our table is all set up ready to go. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in and down and I want to show you how easy it is to add data to a table. So if I've got a patient and I'm going to do that. Let's see. We'll do April Fool's Day. Make it 75. And we'll just make some of this easy. We'll build 99211. Code level would be 1. We'll do Head and Medicare. Nada. And Dr. Lima. Now, Hopefully the formatting is such that you can see that I just added a, a brand new row's worth of data and the patient's over 75 so it formatted it in red for me. It centered this just like we wanted it to. It's shading off and on. Just like that, the, the formatting continues and my data is part of the table. The other thing I want to show you that's really cool, look what happened when I scrolled down. Let me do it again so it's easier to see. If I go all the way to the top, look. This is city, state, e and M code, and see the E, the F, and the G. Watch these letters and what happens when I scroll down. Did you see that? E, F, and G. As soon as I, as soon as I go off the page, it goes to city and state. Look how Excel's clever and copies the table name from that row heading up into the column. So it's really easy to tell what column you're in, even as you scroll down the data. It's a clever trick that they've done in 2007. Last thing I want to show you is, let's just come out here and let's say that I want to calculate the date, the, the month of that uh, in and visit. So there's a formula out there in Excel calls equals month and we're going to come over here. We're going to pick that date. And look how fast that happened. Excel says, hey, you know what, I'm in a table. And so I know that if you want that calculation in row two, I'm going to put it in row three, row four, and down all the way to the very bottom. That fast, it just calculated it for me because it figures if I did it for one, I'll do it for all. When you try to add a row to Excel or a column, Excel will let you do it, and they'll, let you, they'll do it for the entire row or the entire column. They're trying to maintain the integrity of the the table so they're not going to let you add a stray one out here or over here or something like that they're going to want to add the whole row and the whole column but when you do it's really clever to be able to get these rows in the headings now watch what happens if I come out here see how they went away if I scroll down now I don't get it because I'm not in the table if I'm in the table up here the my my letters change to the column heading if I want to get rid of it back to there and it's O, back to there and it's and it's back. Clever tricks in with the table, both to add data and if, in rows at the bottom and to add columns at the side. It's uh, one of the best new features in Excel 2007 and we'll keep talking about it next time. Thanks for watching.